Hello, um, I'm Emily Miller and I am um, one half of Razzmatazz Medway. I co-own it with... And I'm Hayley Limpkin and I am the other half of Razzmatazz Medway. So um, I think one of our um, biggest um, exciting student achievements is um, Robson Broad who has um, recently joined the West End cast of Hamilton the musical and uh, we went to support him last week when he was on which is absolutely incredible. Um, Robson joined us aged 10? Ten? Ten? Yeah, 10. And um, yeah, he'd just done um, some Latin and ballroom and some um, beat boy and break, break dancing, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. And um, so he'd never sung before coming to us, um, but worked incredibly hard. And it's not only Robson's talent, but it's his work ethic that has got him to where he is. And yeah, we're incredibly proud of him. Yeah, he was fantastic. Yeah. He was great. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it's really crucial at this stage that this isn't about us being the best of the best. It's about us continually striving to give the best that we can in everything that we do. Um, but I think one of the key reasons for applying was because everyone at Rasmus Hassan Midway absolutely just believes in what we do from the team through to the students we've got such a supportive network of parents and um, to be recognized with an industry accolade of the the British Franchise Association kind of standard um, I think is the pinnacle and highlight in our franchise journey and it's really nice for the team at Rasmataz Medway to be recognized along with the students and the parents and everyone that has had an input over the last 10 years um, um, to growing the school, the culture and the family that we have and um, for them to be recognised and for that to, to, to be recognised with the British Franchise Association. Um, ultimately, our first and foremost, um, our school is about growing well-rounded individuals um, and supporting the parents in growing those well-rounded individuals. So actually, our values at Rasmataz Medway are focused around mutual respect for one another, equality, um, remembering their manners. If someone's holding open the door, we're saying thank you. And actually um, recognising that in each of us, there is something very special and everyone has a different quality to bring to that to that class. We are a fully inclusive school and 75% of students come to Rasmataz for fun um, and to grow their confidence and to, and to make friends. But whether they sit in the 25% bracket or the 75% bracket in terms of where they come from or if this is the career they want to do, it's really important and something our team are really good and really try to empower all the students is that everyone is treated the same and it's and, every, and everyone is equal um, within with, within that. So, and then they just happen to do all of that through learning the performance. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. That makes sense, so. yeah. Oh yeah, lots. And we've already, January yeah. has been we've insane. We've had a busy uh, 2019 been, already. Yeah, yeah, really crazy. We, um, the kids have been involved with a touring um, Michael Jackson show. Um, so they performed last weekend at the Central Theatre in Chatham. We had 200 students, interns and seniors performing alongside um, a tribute to Michael Jackson, who were, who were great. And then... Us. Yeah, and then um, 30 of our senior students um, they're currently taking part in um, the Glee Club um, Challenge, which is sponsored by the Jack Petty Foundation. And um, we had our regional finals last night at the Orchard Theatre in Dartford, and we are delighted to say that they've just secured their place into the grand finals, and they're going to be performing at the London Palladium on the 3rd of March. Um, but what we love about the process is that they get mentored throughout the whole um, about the whole competition so um, industry leading mentors that are like principals of the main colleges the performing arts colleges and um, they give them feedback so they can develop their pieces and they can progress throughout it um, but yeah we are really excited yeah. for them to be performing at the London Palladium. Yeah. <laughs> and last weekend we had 150 people come together for a um, charity Zumbafon in aid of the Future Fund, which was brilliant. And again, that was just about bringing the community together to raise money for, for the charity, which is great. So it's been a busy January, <laughs> um, but we're really excited to see what 2019 brings.